Just remember that I love you. So dark in the dark blue sky. Rain clouds will fade away here. Soon pass beyond recall. So just smile at the Now listen to me, you James. You're supposed to be here to entertain on a big party. In a big way. That's Mr. Chase now. He'll give you the details. Oh. These are the young ladies. Oh. Uh, uh, Ricketts, uh, put the laundry away, will you? Yes, sir. Uh, now listen, ladies. I want you to know just how important this party is to me tonight. Uh, you see, I'm trying to unload. Why, you just unloaded. Oh. <laughs> no, that, that isn't what I mean. Uh, what I mean is, I own a piece of property in the city of Rockaway that I'm awfully anxious to sell. Now, uh, the three gentlemen that are coming here tonight, they're representatives of the Chamber of Commerce up in Rockaway, and uh, the city might buy the property, you see. Now, uh, I'll explain what I want you girls at the party for. <laughs> <laughs> you follow me, eh? We're way ahead of you. <laughs> oh. Someone's ringing the bell. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Richmond. Mr. Chase, you realize I have to be very careful running a high-class place like this? Why, certainly. What's the matter? Well, I uh, just saw three women go into the apartment. Now, what's it all about? Oh, why, <laughs> I'm just giving an innocent little party. I'm entertaining some friends from out of town. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Richmond, rest assured, I'll take care of everything just as though it were my own property. I'll depend upon that. You can bank on it. I'll bank on it. Now listen, girls, when these fellas get here tonight, I want you to whoop things up big. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> now listen, there's one fella named Brown, a little short, fat fella, and he's so <laughs> short. Say, I'll bet that's them now. Now listen, I want you to run upstairs in the bedroom and put a lot of powder and paint yep. on and take your wraps off and things. Oh, Hurry up. Hey, baby, baby, baby. Hurry up. Hello, bro. Oh, I beg your pardon. Did you wish to see someone? We came to see you about your property in Rockaway. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, what became of the other three gentlemen that uh, were supposed to come? The Board of Trade decided that this should be a strictly business proposition. And the other three gentlemen were inclined to mix too much pleasure with business. Oh. Well, uh, won't you step in? <laughs> Mr. Chase, you know, we came here to buy your property. The town that is so near the city hall. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. It all depends on the price. We do not believe in uh, frivolity. Well, naturally not. Why, we do not even believe in the theater. And a very nice piece of property it is, too, gentlemen. Very choice. He must know. Well, uh, gentlemen, my lawyer drew up this agreement. That's fine. We think of nothing but business terms. <laughs> Why, uh, <laughs> just a couple of members of the Ladies' Aid Society dropped in on me. <laughs> We'd like to meet them very much. Very much. Yes. Oh, well, uh, I'll see if I can't get them to come down. Say, listen, 
listen, I'm in a terrible fix. Who was it, the cops? The cops? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. It wasn't the cops. No, no. But something happened to the three men that were supposed to come. Ah, oh, then the party's off. No, no, no. The party isn't off. But uh, we'll just have to change our act. You don't suppose that... Uh, oh, impossible. I'm very suspicious. Oh. Now listen, girls, please, come on. And watch your P's and Q's. Come on, girls. Well, here we are. <laughs> Ladies, may I present uh, Mr. Henderson, Mr. Stockdale, and Mr. Holtz. <laughs> this is Miss Gov and our uh, librarian. Pleased to meet you. And uh, this is Miss Todd of Vassar College. John, do help me. And this little lady is Miss Brinkman uh, of Vienna. She's studying music on our side. How are you, Jim? Well, uh, won't you be seated? Well, uh, couldn't we play some sort of a game or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. We could play post office. Post office? Oh, post office is a swell game. You be postmaster first. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Uh, just what do we do? Well, I go out of the hall, and you stay here. And I whisper to you that I have some mail for one of the men. And then you send them out to me. And I do the rest. Well, uh... I should say not. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Two postcards for Mr. Henderson. Uh, but, but, uh, Mr. Chase, I, I don't know how to play this game. What do they do to you when they get you out there? Well, I'll be frank with you, Mr. Henderson, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> you know, nothing risk, nothing gain. <laughs> Go ahead. can't have the same one. Why not? Well, it isn't fair to the others. Well, what's that girl's name with the black hair? Well, that's Miss Garvin. Well, send her in. All right. Six letters for Miss Garvin. Be a very nice party, Mr. Chase. Oh, fine. <laughs> Two letters for old Sourface. Uh, uh, Mr. Stockdale. I haven't played this game for a long time, Mr. Chase. I may be a little out of practice. <laughs> well, there's none of us professionals, you know. <laughs>
Excuse me, please, gentlemen. <laughs> but there's a couple of letters for me. Oh, wait a minute. Well, you are the postmaster. You can't go out. Why not? Well, it ain't fair. Don't I get any mail? Now, listen here. Let's play this game according to rules. Well, I'll be frank with you. I don't know the rules. The rules are that the postmaster stays on his post. Say, what's the argument? I claim that the postmaster does not get any mail. What difference does that make? Say, Mr. Chase, I think Mr. Holtz is quite right. What do you know about it? Young lady, I'll have you understand. I played this game when you were in your cradle. Oh, yes! Now, please, I'll settle in just a minute. <laughs> Every game should be played fair. My dear friend, I'm perfectly willing to play the game fair and square. That isn't the point. Oh, baloney. Say, what's the big idea about this argument? We only want to play it according to the rules. Oh, That's you all. And your rules. It's your rules. Dinner's ready. Dinner. Oh, yeah. Dinner's ready. Dinner. Well, here we are. <laughs> Mr. Chase. Yes. Uh, did I understand you to say that Miss Todd was interested in art? Art? Miss Todd? Oh, yes. Mm. Uh, wouldn't it be kind of nice if I said something complimentary to her? I think she'd love it. Uh, Miss Todd. Miss Todd. Yes. Uh, you look like an old Rembrandt. Well, you're not so hot to look at yourself, dearie. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> What's the matter? Well, Ricketts, I'm worried. Worried about what? I'm worried about those drinks. I got you, boss. I fixed them. Oh, you fixed them? Sure. See, that's fine, Ricketts. Oh, my, my friend, uh, just a moment. My butler informs me that he has a little surprise for us. A new cocktail called the Mayflower. But, my dear Mr. Chase... Ah, uh, 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 Mr. Henderson. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but no, that isn't the case. Why, there's nothing in that cocktail that would harm even a baby. What do you say that we sing the Rockaway Booster song? I think oh, I know it. Let's sing. Oh, come and live in Rockaway and let the knockers knock away. They're jealous of our grassy hills, our factories and knitting mills. There's nothing like it, north or south. Our apples melt right in your mouth. And heaven's just a block away from Rockaway. My Mr. Chase, this is... 
going to do I know. Now, listen. I'll promise you, from now on, they'll be quiet. Oh, oh what was that? I don't know. Maybe Mr. Hennessy dropped his watch or something. Oh, now, Why don't you try speaking to them? in this building. The tenants threatened to move on account of the noise. Won't you please, please be quiet? Now that's what I call a square shooting guy. All I'll say is, what do you say we give a three rousing cheer? Get 